I had the privilege recently of speaking at two roundtables organised by the Humanism Project on human rights in India, and particularly the concerns that um, we have, my, my speech was about, about the RSS, which is a fascist organisation that openly admits admiration for Adolf Hitler and the appalling genocide that occurred under his Nazi regime. The contemporary RSS rides roughshod over people's human rights. And time and time again, the RSS has attacked Indian people's right to freedom of expression, freedom of religion and safety. And their advocacy of a Hindu Rashtra is an India where, by definition, minorities are denied rights and privileges, and that they demonise and encourage persecution of some of the non-Hindu citizens of India, particularly those of Muslim background. And at, these forum, at the second of these forums, I particularly raise my concerns that Australia's High Commissioner to India, Barry O'Farrell, has recently met with the RSS, and he is only the second senior diplomat from any country to meet the RSS at their offices in recent times. This is a disgrace, and we believe that the High Commissioner should resign. And I'm seeking further information about what advice the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade pri provided to him before that meeting. There were a range of speakers um, from around the world at these two roundtables, including at the second, Mr Raju Rajagopalan, Professor Anjali Arundeka and Peter Friedrich. And they impro provided important perspectives on human rights in India, on international connections and particularly on what we can do next working together globally to be championing human rights in India. Now, I'm keen to continue this discussion here in this parliament in the new year because I believe that issues related to the erosion of human rights and democracy are something that needs to be drawn to the attention and for us to discuss here in this national parliament.